We're going to need to remove these clips from the motherboard. Each of them is held on with two screws. Importantly, don't throw these away because if you want to change your CPU cooler or sell your motherboard, you're going to need them. So the best place to keep them is in the motherboard box. Okay, so this is our CPU cooler. What you'll notice if I turn it over, it's got thermal paste pre-applied to the bottom of it. So we're not going to have to add any more. It's really important we don't touch this when we're installing the cooler so we don't damage the thermal paste. Next, we just want to line the cooler up with the motherboard backplate with the AMD logo facing all the way over to the left-hand side. We're going to apply a little bit of pressure to the top of the cooler and then we're going to screw, just getting the screws to take on one corner and then the opposite corner. And then we're going to go to this corner. And the idea is you only want to tighten the screws up a little bit at a time so you don't apply too much pressure to any one side of the socket at once. So we've got all those screws to take, so all I'm going to do is give one side a couple of turns, then the other side, and just repeat that process. Okay, that's all four corners fully tightened. The next thing for us to do is to plug this fan connector into our CPU fan header, which is this connector at the top of the motherboard. Okay, so we just need to line things up with the socket. You'll notice there's little notches on the header and notches on the cable, so there's only one way it can go in. Last thing I'm going to do is just tuck this cable in so it's out of the way. 